Rutgers could defeat Alabama here today, they go right down to the wire with Georgia. However, by winning today, Alabama can get themselves even with LSU. It's simply a question of who, if anyone, in the Southeastern Conference can stop Georgia. Ellington is the deep man, number 12. And Tim Clark will kick off. Clark, a wide receiver. He does no other kicking except kicking off. There's Ellington. He is a freshman out of Cincinnati at that Bowler High School. And Ellington backs into the end zone for this one, and I doubt that he will bring it out. At the end of the end zone, Alan Risher will be your quarterback, number seven. Mike Montz, number 30. Oki Cajun, 47. Your running backs. And Orlando McDaniel, 32, your flanker back. Your receivers, Tracy Porter, about whom Bud spoke, number 21. And your tight end is Greg LaFleur. Risher, the sophomore from Slidell, brings him out. Lost the football and dives on it. And they say that Alabama got it, but that's the Alabama team. And then the officials step in and say no. And defensively, you've seen these names before. De Niro, Braggs, Lyles, Klein, and Jr. They're all intact. Scott and Jones is the one defensive changer. Thomas Ford with that bad back. We'll give you the secondary in a moment. Rich is going to pass on second down. Has a man open. Goes it to Lafleur, And Lafleur's out at the 28-yard line. It'll be third down. And they do have again with one man running in the backfield, two wide receivers. Third down and about a yard, and Rich is going to pick it up and plenty more. Out to the 34 and a half yard line. I know Wallace, number six, comes in as a wide receiver. First down from a 34. That is Wallace who is in motion. Risher, flags go down, maybe backfield in motion. Monks has got the football. But flags went down to the signal call over the loud noise. Second down from his own 19 yard line. Now the first down, that is Hokey Cajun carrying the football and Warren Lyles, number 91, the middle guard, coordinate on every offensive play, bringing in the plays from the sideline. Second down, about 14 to go. Risher, Risher's got a man there, and the ball is dropped at the 45 yard line. Tracy Porter hitting on 61% of his passes before today. Risher throws. For Lafleur, and the ball was almost picked off. We'll kick the ball away. Low pass from center. Here they come. Line drive. Castile takes it on the run at the 32-yard line, and is still on his feet. And then there's a fine shoestring tackle made by Alex Clark. Ken Coley, number 11. Joe Jones, 24. Billy Jackson, 33. Major Ogilvy, 42. The running backs. It is Bendros, the freshman split end, and Bart Kraut, the tight end. First down from the 30, make that the 42-yard line. Coley hasn't passed too much in deep trouble, and down he goes, thrown for a loss. Coley has only thrown one time before today. The offensive line of Alabama and the linebackers uh, for Alabama are the no score, second down, a loss on the play of about seven. Coley pitches the ball back, and that is number 24, Joe Jones. Saving tackle made at the 36-yard line. Four minutes have gone in the first quarter. No score, but Alabama on the move. Jones, the man in motion. Coley turns the corner. Look out. It'll be a touchdown. Coley! Completed it, but he's handled the wishbone attack extremely well. Ball handled. Peter Kim, born in Korea, lived his first 15 years of his life there. Then went on to Honolulu, is now in Alabama, and he adds the extra point out of the seven to nothing Alabama. And they really could move the football against a team that's won four in a row. Crimson Tide is right at home here. Ellington is deep. This time he may have a chance for a return, taking the ball at the two to the ten. Whoa! Hit by number 18, Ricky Tucker. McDaniel is wide to the left. Risher, long count, first down. Keeps the football, turns it upfield, and goes nowhere as Gary De Niro, the left defensive end. Missing down, only one setback. Two wide receivers, two tight ends. Cajun, the man there, and he's going to go nowhere. Dragged down by Warren Lyles, number 91. This is a big game for Mike Gambrell. He is a freshman, and he's starting against Alabama. Risher gets the ball away. Oh, my. Over the head of Lafleur, and Porter was behind it. Nine men along the line of scrimmage. Almost blocked last time and nearly blocked this time. 
Ball goes out of bounds on the 44-yard line of LSU. Here's where the LSU defense has to straighten up or just say, see you later. Foley carries the football. Joey Jones comes in as wide receiver for Jesse Bendros. Coley hit in the backfield. Fine play by number 94, Lyman White. Third down and 10 to go. Coley with the football. Thibodeau chases him and drags him down as he pitches the ball out. Lost in the backfield as Jackson can't get anywhere. He has to kick it away to Chris Williams, who is deep. Humphrey, high, beautiful. Will it go into the end zone? Yes, sir. LSU has not crossed its own 35-yard line thus far, although Porter dropped the football and would have given them excellent field position. And now Cajun carries the football and picks up five. Out to the 25. You know, what they're really talking about is Notre Dame next week, and what they better keep their minds on is LSU today. Unbalanced line by LSU here. Didn't bother Alabama a bit. <laughs> it stings. Third down and four to go. Adam Lisher back to throw. Rushes on. Out to Cajun. Cajun has the first down across the 30-yard line. Malcolm Scott, a top receiver, a tight end is wide to the left, but the pitch comes back this way. And that is Ellington. And the freshman gets nowhere as Jeff. Uh, he was the national coach of the year last season. Cajun runs into oh lost the football. And it looked like Tom Tully, the guard, jumped on the football. Third down and seven to go. Seven to nothing, Alabama. First quarter. Risher, the sophomore back, has room. Now throws for Porter, who's all by himself. But he underthrew the football. And it may have been intercepted. It is. He underthrew the football on the dead run. And it looks like Ricky Tucker gets up with it. For Tucker, his fourth interception of the year. The tie game. Don Jacobson at quarterback. Coley apparently is hurt. First man through is Lenny Patrick, the freshman out of Jasper. The key man in their defense, and he plays the position that's most often attack, left tackle. Jacobs looking to throw to Joy Jones, who is there. Ball is caught, knocked out of bounds by Alvin Thomas, number 33. First down, Jacobs out to throw on the last time, and out to throw again this time. Look out, Jacobs, down he goes. Sack is made. Joy Jones lining up. At the 32-yard line, where it is second down and about 17 to go. The wishbone, Jacobs, falls, lost a yard or two. Third down, 18 for most teams, a passing situation. Let's see what Jacobs will do. Jacobs sprints out down the sidelines. Look out, he's got the first down and more. Get on his feet, drag down from behind. Jacobs who fumbled the ball in the closing seconds against Mississippi State. That's the kind that turns even young coaches like Stovall Gray. First down, Coley hands, first man through is Charlie Williams, a fullback for a couple of yards. Madras wide to the right. Jacobs remains the quarterback. Jacobs looks to throw as his man, and that is Barry Crump. Crump gets down near the 10-yard line, first down. Does this crowd sound like it's the fourth quarter with a minute and 35 to go instead of the first quarter? Look out. That is Joe Jones. Got a couple of yards and then bingo. To what level you should make your break on the pass pattern. Ramsey Dardar comes back in the defensive line, number 98 for LSU on second down from the nine-yard line. Straight ahead goes the fullback, Billy Jackson, favorite play of Alabama. Trying to hang on there before this thing gets out of control. Alabama's got a man running around, may run out of time. He sets up. It was Larry Brown at tight end. Jacob Cobb gets the call of signals. Time did not run out. And that is Jackson getting down close to the first down. It's the end of the first quarter. We're in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And the Crimson Tide is hoping to roll. They lead at the end of one, seven to nothing. Jacob's hands, Ogilvy, touchdown! And give Don Jacobs a big hand in that drive on his 45-yard drive on third down and 20. Try to add yet another extra point. Kick is up and is good, and the Crimson Tide of Alabama leads 14 to nothing. As Kim will kick off. Hold it, I'm sorry, Tim Clark will kick off. Short kick this time. Ellington has to come up to about the six-yard line. He's right on the five. The other three times on their 20. 
And now for the first time today, it looks like Gene Lang, the speedy freshman, number 25, is in there. He's got the football. Throw on first or second down. That should loosen them up some. Wallace, number six, in with a new play out to the left. And Tracy Porter out to the right. Risher has to throw. Big force out of the pocket. Now turns it upfield. Pretty good run. Very good run by Risher. And as you pointed out, Jim, this is a nifty ball carrier. Pitches back to Lang, the man with all that speed. Oh, and I met Alan Risher today. He looks like Archie Man. He moves like Archie also. Second down, seven to go. The ball on the 34-yard line. Risher back. Now hands to Lang. Down at about five to go. Orlando McDaniel comes wide left, and Tracy Porter goes to the right. Over the line of scrimmage. He's got his man LaFleur. It is a first down. You've got a great future in football. From the 49, and now Lionel Wallace is put almost to the near sideline, and Risher keeps the football. Now pitches it back, and look, Daniel goes wide to the right. Second down, and about 10 to go. Risher hands to Monts. Monts running his way. Alabama 14, LSU nothing. 11:25 to go, first half. Very quick first quarter. Third down, four to go. Risher throws, has his tight end Scott. Scott picked up the necessary yardage for the first down. Now comes Scott wide to the right. He is a tight end. There goes Orlando McDaniel in motion. Risher long count by himself. Pitches back Mike Monts. They're playing it perfectly. Well, there's the Alabama crowd, and we're told it's the most enthusiastic it's been in maybe a dozen years. Coming off the defeat by Alabama. They do this frequently. They'll have two wide receivers plus two tight ends and a single running back on a long yardage situation. It is third and nine. Risher back to throw. It's out here to Scott. Barring some kind of blocked putt, will have its worst field position of the day. Even if the ball goes into the end zone, it comes out to the 20. Johnson gets it away. Good kick. It's short. It may stay outside that end zone. And Jacobs is the quarterback now calling for his own fans to be quieter. From his own end zone, Jacobs is going to throw. For to the fullback Jackson, but uh, the LSU secondary was in solid position. He did a good job to throw the ball away. This is Major Ogilvy. Obvious running play now, but the way Alabama's been playing today, you wonder. Third down and about two to go. On the 14. It is a running play in Jackson. A very good three play drive there. Williams. Made the tackle. Humphrey comes in. And Wednesday night, November the 12th at 7.30 Eastern Time live. The National Hockey League, Minnesota in Hartford. Join us here on your source for sports. Risher still with the football. Football. Still looking for Alan Risher to make something going with his passing game. Christian that time he's not eligible because he's not got the right number on but the football game in the stadium. There's Ken Coley who started the day. At quarterback Risher hands off to Ellington. I tell you that Eric Ellington can get to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. He's the man out of that Molder High School in Cincinnati. Risher back. Risher running out. And I'm going to stay right in my own home state and he did. Third down and five. 14 to nothing Alabama. Second quarter. Risher, look out, gets the ball away, and that's first down. And you can see as LSU comes out of the lineup, they are an eager young ball club. They figure they're still in this. When was the last time Alabama lost two in a row? They may not today, but that's the way they're thinking. Unbalanced line to the right. Risher, the reverse, pitches the ball back to Ellington. First down. Great, great downfield block. That wiped them out. You would think this is a bowl game. Ellington gets a little rest down near the goal line. Lang's number 25. They run the beer offense. Risher hands. This is Lang. And LaFleur, who is 6'4", and Scott, who is the same height. Third down. Goal to go. Risher looking. Risher! Ball is dropped, and they're going to call interference. It is first and goal to go. But we're playing in Tuscaloosa, and he's going to call a question for me against Alabama, I don't think. First and goal to go. LSU. 3.30 to go, first half. LSU's got to come away with some points here to stick in this ball game. Alabama's offense has been powerful. Risher carries the football. Touchdown! As David Johnston was hit on 16 of 17. Conversion attempts comes in to kick the extra point, which is good. It is 14 to 7. Maybe the adrenaline is flowing now, and we'll see something different. 
Castile is the lone deep man. They may be expecting an onside kick, but they're not going to get it. And an outstanding kick chasing Castile into the end zone. Skies and the puffy white clouds here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. While well, the temperature is about 80 degrees, and it is first down. 14 to 7, Alabama, first down. Jacobs pitches the ball back to Major Ogilvy. Uh, Jacobs was able to get the ball out to Ogilvy, and you can see what a tough runner he is as he drives forward. Second down, one, and that is Joe Jones. First down from the 32 yard line, Alabama. They're up by a touchdown. Jacobs, Jones again. Jones coming this way. Free safety comes across to make the tackle and hold him to a short game. Second down and six to go from the 36 yard line. Two minutes and 35 seconds to go. This is an enthusiastic crowd, and that is one of the biggest understatements I've made in some time. Third down, six to go for Alabama. Jones goes in motion. Jacobs tip. That's a play that you never, hardly ever see a fumble on. It's a draw play. You don't get it after this one uh, as we see Humphrey punting the football. To Williams at the 30 yard line. Has a chance for a return here. And by Humphrey, 39 yards right on his average. He's averaging 40 for the season. Order goes wide to the right. Man. Before Alabama was able to do so. No loss on the play. Second down 10. And that's the near tragic mistake that we are talking about. Risher back. Risher throws. LeFleur was right there fighting for the football. Excellent play by both men. Third down and 10. This time on a long yarded situation. They keep both backs in. Risher rolls out. Throws the ball out here to Hokey Cajun. Garst Oval came on the field with a very slim line briefcase before a game. I've never seen a head coach do that. He looked like the businessman he is. <laughs> the kick has gotten away. Castile watches it. Picks it up and see you later. He is bumped down on the two yard line. Benny Perrin got away with one there. Surely did. First down from a two yard line. This stadium is alive. Jacobs carries the football. Ogilvy. They tried to check into our motel yesterday. They were told, sorry, a room at the end. Of the next longest win. All right, third down one, 16 seconds to go. The ball just across the 10 yard line. So at the end of the first half, first quarter was all Alabama. Second quarter, give a tip of the hat to LSU. And at the end of 30 minutes of play, Alabama 14 and LSU 7. James Wagner, the freshman to kick off. This time it is a short kick. Castillo comes out to the seven yard line. Hit once, ducks inside, and hit again as he crosses the 20 yard line. But he's a freshman. Scott McRae is in at fullback, we see now. Lewis with the football, turns it upfield, and gets across the 25 yard line. And Jackson comes back in. And there's Ogilvy, turning the corner. One out of bounds by Britt, number 11. That's what it is. Costly takes the ball up. First down, 44 yards. The Ogilvy, the right half. Jones, the left half, with Patrick, a halfback. And that is Lewis. Look out, Lewis. The football picks it up. Has a first down, down near the 40 yard line. 14 to 7, Alabama, early third quarter. Lewis hands to Patrick, who gets a yard or two. The nose of the football almost over the 40 of LSU. Patrick stays in that fullback spot. This is Lewis, not going to go anywhere. And you're right, bud, they're strictly playing the run. It is third down on seven to go. Passing situation, you would think, so Jacobs comes back in. Let's see what he does with the football. He's not going to throw it. He's going to pitch it back to Ogilvy, and Ogilvy's not going to get it. They figure something's up, but the ball does go to Humphrey, and he does aim it for the sideline. And it may go out of bounds quicker than what they wanted. Risher, Monson, Cajun in the backfield. Risher carrying the football, lost it, falls on it. He's able to get back on it. Second down, 10 to go. Risher hands to Cajun. Cajun gets out to the 10 yard line. Will be the team that can throw the ball. Risher's an outstanding thrower and is back to throw. No, he's going to run now. Makes a good move. That gets out across the 15 yard line. Very close to first down. Him in up front. It could be tough for him. He gets the ball away. A line drive that will hit at the 45, go to the 50, roll away. Castillo makes no effort to go after it. And that is a break for LSU as the ball dribbles inside the 35 yard line. 
And they will take that in a hurry. And Alabama, 10-0, 7 to go, third quarter, 14 to 7. Alabama. Jackson back in at fullback now. That is what? Jacob faking, looking downfield for Kroc. Kroc's got the football. No, they say he does not at the 46-yard line. Second down, 10. Jacobs, look out, lost the football, and I believe, well, let's wait. It belongs to LSU, the turnover by Jacobs. At the 35-yard line, 9.55 to go, third quarter, 14 to 7, Risher on first down, back to throw, in trouble, gets the ball away, intended across the way, Mississippi next week, trying to fight back against a spunky LSU team. Risher, the ball is back to Ball it on, and they're going to call it a fumble, and Lyle jumps on the ball. Was his arm going forward or not? They say no, it belongs to Alabama. Each quarterback has fumbled the ball away. Jacobs now with a chance to redeem himself. The pitch back to Jones. Jones coming this way, played beautifully on defense by the very speedy wide man. He has not settled on one man. I'm very impressed with the speed of the LSU defense. They can really recover. Second down at eight. Lewis in to run the football. Hands the ball to Jackson, who gets down to the 40-yard line. Third down, five to go. Everybody expecting run. Lewis carrying the football. Lewis knocked down by Al Richardson. Lewis brings them out. Nice LSU ball. naturally playing run. I formation this time. Flag goes down. Did they take too much time? If they did, it could be a punting situation. Chris Williams goes deep as Humphrey stands on his own 44. Gets the ball high. Williams calls fair catch at the 10-yard line, which kept the tide contained. Orlando McDaniel is in motion. Risher with the football, pitches back to Eric Ellington, and dragging him down is Tommy Wilcox. And here they come. That is Ellington again into the secondary across the 20. First down, LSU. First and 10, LSU. Since early in the second quarter, most of the momentum has belonged to the Tigers. Risher trying to get something going, fires the ball, and that is caught by LaFleur. Gain on the play. Otto Wallace wide to the right, Hokey Cajun carrying the football. That's a first down, LSU. Calling one snap signal. First down, no man is Hokey Cajun, who picks up another five yards. Up. Risher throws the ball out to Cajun who gathers it in. Cajun is out to the 40-yard line. Just third down and nearly five to go. Risher looks again to Cajun. Cajun. Cajun's got the first down across midfield. Jim Bob Harris. The nine-yard line of Alabama. First and ten. The Tigers. There's Cajun again. Cajun picks up four or five more yards with Alabama's Gary De Niro. After being voted number one at the beginning of the week at Georgia Tech, doesn't even have a winning record. Oh, you can hear it in South Bend. Here comes Ellington. Great speed. Getting across the 45. Dragged out from behind as he nears the 40-yard line. Notre Dame got caught looking ahead to Alabama. Will Alabama get caught looking ahead to Notre Dame? They play each other next week. Alabama's leading, but in a little bit of trouble. Risher carries a football and not very far. It's fourth down. He stands inside his own 45. Drops the football, barely gets it away. And it's recovered by De Niro at the 40-yard line. LSU has not been able to really bring off the snap. Jacobs and the football. Billy Jackson, look out across the 50, down to the 40, and Britt brings him out of bounds. First down on the 38-yard line. Carolina go down. Now we understand that Notre Dame has been tied. What a football season. UCLA has gone down. Here is Patrick carrying the ball down to the 35-yard line. Nobody can look past anybody. Second down, eight to go. Alabama leads 14 to seven. Jacobs pitches back. Look out. That is Fagan carrying the ball for the first time today. First down. Not that many today, but certainly a lot. First down on the 27. Ball handed off to Jackson, the fullback, down near the 15. The tide is driving after that four punt. Charlie Williams comes in at one of the running back spots, number 38. 
Williams with the football first down inside the 10 yard line for Alabama first and goal to go three quarters of tied on the move and leading but it's not over yet many surprises all season long on college football first down Jacobs calling he is down at the end of the field now where the Alabama fans are he's asking his own fans I mean the student body to be quiet so they can hear Jacobs with the football turning it inside inside the five yard line near a first down third down a yard and a half to go for the first down two and a half for the touchdown Ogilvy. touchdown second of the day Alabama moves out. Three to hold. Woody Humphrey and Kim puts the ball up. And the kick is perfect. And it is 21 to 7. And now this young, young LSU team must come back against a team that they have not beaten in nine consecutive tries. Risher and company have to get good field position to get something going. Ellington will have a chance now from the three yard line across the 10 across the 20 on his feet and wrestle down and that's fairly good field position. Let's see if Alan Risher starts putting the ball in the air. He reverse pivots brings the ball himself gets across the 30 yard line to the 31 where he comes from and next week in Birmingham it is Notre Dame of South Bend against Alabama. Here comes Risher rolling out. Look cuts back and is caught from behind. Fine play there protect against the rollout. And then recover when he runs. They're going to run again. Mike Montz carrying the football does not have the first down. Rush again against David Johnston. This time he gets the ball away. And it's not a particularly good kick, but it's going to get a good roll for LSU before going out of bounds. So we'll tell you about in a moment. We got our football preview show that Bud and I do. Outstanding. Alan Gray's the quarterback and in deep trouble. All right. Played wide receiver last year. He's a junior out of Tampa, Florida. Brian trying to get something going with some of his men. First man through is Charlie Williams, the fullback. Third and ten. Gray back to throw, and it is almost intercepted. That was Alvin Thomas taking place, and that would have been disastrous. Chris Williams deep. Humphrey gets the ball away. Williams will take the ball. Does at the 32 yard line. He's got speed. There he goes down the sidelines inside the 40 yard line. First down LSU in Alabama territory. A safe. First down LSU, 10 and a half minutes to go. Risher back to throw. Gets the ball out to Cajun. Cajun inside the 35 and knocked out of bounds near the 30 yard line. Cajun and Ellington. Ellington with the football. Great speed and wow, did he get hit and hit hard. He's Lang and Ellington, two freshmen are there. There goes Lang. First down, LSU. Only thrown him once today with any accuracy, and he dropped the ball back in the first quarter. Risher back. Now has room. Now he's going to run the football inside the 20 yard line, down to about the 18 with Robbie Jones. Cooked up. Oh, Ellington goes nowhere. That is Warren Lyles of Ask Risher the snap count. Third and three. Time. I think they took too much time. It is third and eight. <laughs> Alabama playing pass. Risher back. Risher looks. Ball is put over that of Cajun as Risher was knocked down. McDaniel Wright. Two tight ends. One setback. Risher back to throw. Risher buried by the middle. Number 51. Alabama's football. Bud and I have sat in a lot of those upsets that you've read about. Lewis is the quarterback. Go, 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 go. Isabel right at Jackson, and Jackson breaks the tackle out near the 40-yard line. Second down and a yard to go. Lewis is in running the football. Oh, oh, he lost the football, and I believe that LSU may have it. They do. Lewis doubles the ball, and this time he can't get it back. Key Chapman, the freshman out of Winfield, Louisiana, is happy. The ball recovered at the 39-yard line. Now a man in motion. Risher ball signals. Risher with the football. Pitches back to Monts. Monts is covered. They lost the football, and Alabama got it. Monts fumbles. 
and Warren Lyles, the middle guard, comes up with it. Tommy Wilcox is the man who stripped it. Number 15. Look out for Jackson. Jackson finally knocked out inside the LSU 30-yard line. As the tide rolls on. Get outside of everybody. He just simply turned it upfield and picked up a big, big game. As we 35 come back, yards. Notre Dame in Birmingham next week. Second down, nine to go on the clock of factor. Six minutes left in this game. Gray pitches back. That is Ogilvy with the football. First down, Alabama at the 11. He's averaging six for the season. First down from the 11 yard line. Gray lost the football. Belongs to LSU. <laughs> Do not put the capper on this one yet. No turnovers in the first half. The second half is a different story. And there is Ellington. And LSU continues to run head coach in 1958. Now Rich is more. back to throw. Now Rich is throwing for Porter. Porter catches the football at the 43-yard line. First down LSU. A flag down back at the nine. It is holding LSU. As they face the same LSU team, and this is going to be a winnable ball game. Fisher hands the ball off. Lock is working against them. Uh, the last couple of years was broken a week ago. Third down, Fisher must throw for his own end zone. Throws it for Porter again. Double coverage, nobody gets it. Castile was there, Jim Bob Harris was there. Good. Low snap again. This time he line drives it to Castile at the 42. Castile gets down to the 30. Excellent field position. They can be proud of LSU, but this has been, regardless of the outcome, a very entertaining and exciting game. Lewis back in. He passes to Carruth. And Carruth, who's carrying the ball for the first time, the freshman out of Summit, Mississippi. Second down and three after the seven yard pickup. Ball to Lewis. And the ball off. And that is Charlie Williams. I'm over Williams and the other LSU people. Williams was just so upset. They gave it the roll. Here comes Carter. Carter, another freshman. Lewis hands the ball off, and that is Charlie Woodin. Inside the 10-yard line. Well, can become great. Second down and seven. The ball at the 10-yard line of LSU. They're running it down now. Here goes Carruth again. Carruth inside the five to the four. Against LSU, that is... Shown itself to be a good football team today. Bowl games at stake. Riding in goes Charlie Williams, a fullback, and I think he's got the first down. Lewis does not want to fumble. First down goal to go. Freshman quarterback for Alabama. Hands off. Touchdown. That is Carter. One freshman gives to another, and Alabama sews it up. It is 28 to 7. And so for the 10th consecutive time, LSU will go down before Alabama. That is Tim Clark kicking the ball off. Ball is taken in the end zone by Lang, and oh, he started out, so he's got to come out. Great speed gets across the 15. There was a little hesitation. It's going to cost you every time. And when you delay against Alabama, you're in trouble. Risher carrying the football and goes down at the 23-yard line. That is if Risher did not throw the ball more often. Maybe they didn't give it to him. Jerry Stobel will determine that. Back to throw now that he has to, and it is caught. I believe that is Orlando McDaniel.